Hello, my name is Joe Gosnell. I'm here to demonstrate the Remote Scan Enterprise ASP server installation. If you haven't already, go ahead and download the Remote Scan Enterprise install file from your account. Once you have downloaded the file, let's just double click on it. And you'll see the Windows General Practice security warning. Just go ahead and click run on that. Okay, we do strongly recommend that you exit out of all Windows programs before continuing. Once that's verified, go ahead and click the next button. This is our license agreement page. We do recommend that you read through it fully. Click I agree, and then click the next button. The Remote Scan Enterprise installation file includes both the client and the server install process. The client is going to be installed on the terminal or Citrix server while the server software is to be installed on the scanning workstation that has a USB attached scanner. Once you understand both of those processes, click next. We are installing the server software on the scanning workstation. So let's make sure that the radio button is selected and then click next. You will need to update any Citrix users. If you're not too sure if you're using Citrix, go ahead and click that anyway. It's not going to hurt anything during the install process. And then click the next button. This is the default location of where Remote Scan will write the files onto your workstation. We do recommend that you keep those default settings and then click the next button. This will restart Remote Scan server software anytime you restart or reboot your computer. Go ahead and click the yes button if you want to do that. I do recommend it. And then click the next button. You will need to update the personal firewall on your computer if you're running Windows XP or older, or if you're running Windows Server 2003 and older. If you're not too sure, go ahead and check that anyway. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything in the process. And now we'll click next. Okay, we're ready to install. Let's click the install button to execute. Uh, this is just to let you know that there isn't a module INI file, so you're not running Citrix if this error pops up. Okay, you'll now see the remote scan flash screen open up. Uh, the installation is now complete. You should also notice the remote scan icon in the bottom right hand corner. So the installation is complete. We'll click finish. And that concludes the install process. Thank you so much for watching this video series and I hope you have a great day.